Hi guys, so I am doing a day in my life video. I just, I have some stuff to do. Um, I'm in a shower and do my hair today. Uh, Jared went to work about an hour ago and I just took Elizabeth over to my mom's house. So I've got the house to myself. I've got some laundry to do. I need to do some dishes and so yeah, I'm just going to do that. Uh, later, I'm going to go back over to my mom's house and we're going to take the dogs for a walk. So I'll take you along with us to do that. And then, yeah, we'll see what happens from there. Okay. shower. I'm going to show you guys the products that I use in my hair after I shower. Um, so these products I've been using for a long time. Some of these are newer products. So I use Biolage shampoo and conditioner and then every once in a while I'll throw in the Matrix Matrix Brass Off shampoo. That gets the brassiness out of your hair, but you don't want to use it too often because it'll turn your hair purple. Um, so, yeah. And after I shower, I spray some of this stuff. This is the Hydrosource Daily Leave In Tonic. Just spray this all over. My hair is pretty thick and pretty damaged from bleaching it all the time so this is good for my climate that I live in it's really um, truly really dry so that just adds some some moisture into your hair it's got aloe which is really good um, and then I use Paul Mitchell super skinny serum I've used this for like 10 years pretty much my whole adult life so I found this when I was about 18. It's for like humidity, but because I flat iron my hair all the time, um, it really, it helps to dry your hair faster and it helps with frizziness. I recommend this to people all the time. I like it a lot. And then my next product, is this Loma Fortifying Tonic. And this is good fortifying reparative tonic. This is good, especially because I bleach my hair all the time. I'm gonna use this one because this one's almost gone. That's all packaging. This is the new packaging. This one's almost gone, so I'm just gonna use this one. That was a lot. Okay, so I do the same thing with this. I just put it all over my hair. And with these products, I mostly put them on my ends. You don't want to put too much product on your root because then you'll look a little greasy. I just put it through my ends first and then I put it through the rest of my hair whatever's left on my hands, I'll put up at the top. Okay, and then I take my wet brush. This thing is nasty, I'm gonna clean it off. I like these wet brushes because my head is really tender, really sensitive, and this doesn't rip through your hair. It helps with breakage, it helps to not break your hair while you're brushing through your hair. And then I just brush through it. We'll do flips, shake it out. And that is that that I use on my hair. It's kind of a lot, but I do that 
I do bleach my hair all the time. So it helps with the damage from that. And I generally don't blow dry my hair or anything. I just let it air dry and then I flat iron it once it's dry. So yeah, that's my hair products. And now I'm gonna go, I gotta start laundry, do some dishes. So I'm gonna go do that stuff. I just wanted to come on and talk about some things that are happening. Um, some of the obvious is just this virus that's going around. Um, it's affected me a lot. I My state went on a mandatory shutdown for all non-essential businesses. I do hair in a salon, so I was shut down for 30 days. It started out with 30 days and we're on second week now. It's affecting me personally quite a bit. Um, my husband is still working, so that's good. At least we have some kind of income coming in. Um, so, yeah, which is why I decided to start making videos. I've wanted to for a long time and it just seemed like a good time to start since I have all this free time now. <laughs> and... So, um, the next thing that I wanted to talk about was Jared and I are actually moving in, it's kind of up in the air right now, we're moving into my mom's condo, which is like my childhood home where I lived growing up with my mom, and um, she's buying a house, so we're just waiting for that to go through, um, they asked for like an extension, a week extension, because it was supposed to actually close today. Today was, today's March 27th. My mom's house was supposed to close today. So, um, yeah, I I plan on uh, making some videos during that time. I'll probably do an empty house tour of our new apartment, and then um, probably like a moving vlog type thing. I'm not really sure yet, but. Um, yeah, it's kind of, I'm happy to be moving out of this place. This place is kind of, um, it's just kind of old and um, just kind of falling apart at this point. It, it needs a lot of work. Most of the ones that have sold around here, people are like stripping completely down to like the frame and then redoing these apartments. So, um it's kind of sad because this is where me and Jared met. I was actually neighbors with him. I lived in the apartment right next door. We share like a a driveway. So like that's where we met and this is I moved in here with him and we've lived here together for like two and a half years and um it's sad, but I'm like happy to be moving out of here. I think it's sad, more sad for Jared because he lived here for a long time by himself. And, um, yeah, I, I, um, I'm ready for a change and he is too. He was really sad about it at first and he probably will be when we move, but it's happy. It's a good thing, but sad at the same time. So. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my mom's house. Might do my hair first. I don't know. Don't really feel like it. Um, I'll probably just do it later after I come back from our walk. Um, we're going to go take the dogs for a walk. They haven't really been outside much. Um, it's been kind of cold and snowy here off and on, but the next week is supposed to warm up quite a bit. 
from what it's been, so that's exciting. And, um, yeah, I think that's it for now. I'll catch up with you guys later. <music>